Okay, thanks very much, Yasin. And uh, first of all, I would like to say a very big thanks to you all. You know, it's really amazing. A lot of, despite the bad weather, a lot of people are out here today. At least this represents our value we put in humanity. Thanks once more. Um, I am Umar Bari from the Israeli Union protest camp. We have been out there engaged in a dawa protest that has lasted for over one year against the decision of deportation, right to asyl, blind erect, right to work, and house billion. But unfortunately, till now, no reasonable answers have been out. But today, I'm taking the opportunity also to to throw light on a, on a on a topic that is over, mostly overshadowed. But me, as an example or a victim of the situation, maybe I can explain it more better because it is really important to be spoken about because a problem shared is always a problem solved. <laughs> Finding out an out-of-camp accommodation is the first step towards creating a better life for a forced displaced person. Camps are often overcrowded and residents usually do not enjoy the freedom that an out-of-camp accommodation brings. This awful experience made me think about our simple decision, like where to live, either inside the camp or out. This could have inevitable consequence and ultimately affect refugees' quality of life. While it is mainly the mandate of the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, UNCHR, or the United Nations Relief and Work Agency to receive refugees, whether refugees live in refugee camps or among the population, it is at the discretion of local policies or the refugees' choice. But in this case, there is no choice, but you are structured to live in a modern prison, so-called camps, where you don't even have a full right over your life, especially when it comes to making a decision. Globally, about 60% of refugees choose to live outside of, of, of refugee camps. Although living outside of camps can increase refugee freedom, integration, likelihood to participate in economic activities, yet still refugees are treated differently with limited or no access to better livelihood. The safety nets enjoyed inside the camps disappear as those sense of belonging and community spirit among the refugees. Most refugees are stuck inside camps with in, uh, insufficient security and no privacy. Refugee camps are overcrowded with high vulnerability to disease. A refugee's choice to live outside of camps may be motivated by four key factors. Freedom, housing condition, social, social networks, and economic participation. But the, re the refugee lager system limits the refugees' right and freedom since the refugees are often under the authorities' constant watch with restriction to work, work ban due to uncertain resident status, the so-called duldun, and constantly living in fear with the threat of deportation. Despite the constraints, we are policies does not allow most refugees often choose to live outside of refugee camps. Camps, especially those situated far from cities, isolate refugees from networks that may support them and also reduce their ability to integrate and be part of society and have a perspective of getting a guaranteed resident status. United Nations High Commission for Refugees recognized that enabling refugees to live in communities lawfully, peacefully, without harassment, in urban or rural areas supports their ability to take responsibility for their lives and communities. Refugees bring personal skills and assets which can benefit the communities where they are living. They also bring qualities of, of perseverance, flexibility, adaptability. Refugees maintain the spirit of independence, use their skills and develop sustainable livelihood during displacement. Freedom of movement is a critically important refugee right and nearly
and nearly all others contingent upon, upon it. Without freedom of movement, right to employment, education, legal access, and many other fundamental entitlements which are severely curtailed, life is not worth living for a refugee. Camps not only routinely violate refugees' rights, the whole system is based on their violation. The European Court of Human Rights has even gone so far as to rule that subjective people to these conditions amount to violation of Article 3 of the European Convention of Human Rights. Camps have significant negative impacts over longer term for all concerned. Living in camps can engender dependency and weaken the ability of refugees to manage their own life, which perpetuates the trauma of displacement and create barriers to solution. This inhuman policy clearly concludes that the disadvantage of camps overweigh the justifications. Therefore, we are demanding the responsible authorities to abolish camp lager system and declare United Nations High Commission for Refugees intention to build upon and expand good practice for better livelihood. Because refugees, being a refugee is not a crime, it is not a criminal act or a, or a choice, but it is. <laughs> but it is a forced displacement caused by human wicked activities. So refugees deserve the full privilege of, and enjoyment of the basic human rights. I thank you all.